Hi and welcome to Getting Started with uh, Urban Pad Video 4, Exporting Your Models to Your 3D Software. And we're just going to cover in this video the basics of exporting your Urban Pad models. I'm going to start by clicking uh, our basic sector model. And I'm just going to expand to make sure it's the instance that I want to export looks pretty good to me, so I'm not going to bother regenerating it. I'm going to come up to the top and click the export button that you see highlighted. Next I'm going to choose an export format. If you need any help with deciding between formats or want some documentation on the formats, just click the blue underlined text. I'm going to select an export folder and because I'm exporting an FBX, I'm going to select my FBX export folder that is included in the City Project folder that was created when you first created the project. I'm going to select my export options. Again, if you need any information about these options, it's included uh, in the documentation, which is accessible by clicking on the blue underlined text. I'm going to click OK. going to do the same thing with one of our cities. You'll see that the process is the same in Sector Editor or in City Editor. I'm just going to recenter my graph and expand the city by clicking the display node over to the far right. As you're waiting for the city to display, you can see this red uh, status wheel turning up here at the top. This simply means that the city is loading, so if you think it's taking a long time, just look up to the top to see what the status wheel is doing. If it's red and it's turning, your city's still loading. If it's blue, that's, that, that means it's finished loading. And here we go, we've got our city. It looks like what we want. We're going to repeat the exact same process, export by clicking the export button, choosing that export folder, again FBX, since we're exporting to 3ds Max. And I'm going to choose my export options. I've got some additional export options down here that I'm not going to worry about right now, but if you want to see how they work, same thing, just click the blue text and click OK to export. Now if we go and look in our City Project folder and in the FBX export subfolder, we're going to see the FBX files that were created have been stored here. So we've got everything we need so that when we start up 3ds Max, we can import these very easily. All we want to do once we're in 3ds Max is click Import. We're going to go to our FBX folder. start by importing our house. All options should be okay, there shouldn't be anything to click. And as you can see we've quickly and easily imported our house. We're going to do the same thing for the city. I'm not going to save this one. same process, just click import, and it should be right there. This might take a little longer because we're importing more objects, but not that much longer. And there we go, we can see our city. And this model is now ready for editing, retouching, anything you want to do to it in 3ds Max. It was quick, simple, and easy.